What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Weapon 386 and I'm Marshall. Today we're going to be seeing just how much power the Toyota GR86 makes at the wheels. Uh, they claim it's 226 horsepower, but uh, I don't know. I think it might be a little bit higher than that because some people have been dynoing a little bit higher, but I want to get a good baseline for my car so I know when we add power mods, a few that we are going to add, uh, how much power we're going to be making. So stay tuned, we're going to get over to the dyno and see how much she makes. Alright, so we're up here at National Speed. We got some pretty cool stuff out here in the lobby. I'm going to take a look at that a little bit. I will post a link in the description. Um, where the dyno actually starts. And we're gonna take a look at some of the cars I got. It's like a Elise. Not really sure. It's either an Elise or an Exige. It's got a 2ZZ. MR2 fam. The supercharger kit on it. Pretty sweet. Let's see what that does at track. Alright guys, so I'm about to hop, uh, run inside, sign some papers, and then give them the key to my car. So, I'm going to guess about 209 wheel horsepower. If you guys have a guess, drop it down below, and um, we'll see who's the closest. On to the dyno. Right, guys got everyone's looking for the horsepower numbers all right so you see at the top there 219 wheel horsepower and 185 wheel torque you can look at it below uh, where it says 191 and 152 that is actually a base run for a previous generation BRZ with full bolt-ons so intake header mid pipe over pipe exhaust all that free flowing um, and I'm making 30 wheel horsepower more than the previous generation of full bolt-ons my car is completely stock uh, I feel like that's really awesome numbers for this car uh, Toyota claimed 226 crank horsepower essentially and we are only seven horsepower off of what they claim as crank power um, I think that's a really good starting point for my future track events um, I feel like after I do header intake exhaust and maybe a tune, I can be around the 230, maybe 235 mark, which I think will be a really competitive vehicle in ST4 class as well as, um, I guess, tune, tuner four in SECA. So I'm pretty excited about getting this car on track and actually seeing what I can do with it. Um, but if you've made it this far in the video, you guys give me a thumbs up. 
doesn't cost you anything, helps me out with this whole algorithm thing. And also, if you like it, the content and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. But uh, just like that, I'm going to wrap this video up and I'll see you guys in the next one.